Once you understand how to map out your story on a roller coaster, you can begin your own outline. I told you about mine. After I finished writing my outline, I started my story. My outline was very helpful because it kept me on track when I didn't know what to write next. To write my story, I asked my mom for help. She agreed to type the story as I told it to her. This is called dictating. You can dictate your story or type it yourself. Or you could just write it out on notebook paper. Or maybe it's a story without words and you just draw pictures. There are lots of ways to do it. After I wrote my story, I fixed it. We call this revising. When I was revising, I read my story out loud. Reading out loud helps me find things in the story that don't make sense. Then, I change them to things that do make sense. These can include misspellings, missing punctuation, or sometimes even the plot. After I made all my changes, I read it out loud again. I continued doing this until I was happy with my story. Now for the illustrations. These can be photographs, drawings, paintings, collages, or things like that. Some authors don't use illustrations, and some authors have other people do the artwork. I like doing my own drawings. In Birds on the Run, I made full color pictures using markers and paper. In Attack of the Reptiles, I drew black and white pictures using only a fine tip pen. To choose what pictures I drew, I took one page of my story at a time and picked out the scene that I wanted to draw. This allowed me to spread out my pictures and keep the story interesting. Once the pictures were finished, I had my mom help me scan them into a computer, and then we put them in the document with my book. Now it was time to publish. I'll tell you more about publishing and selling in the next video.